here's one thing I want to point out that is very mysterious. I'm going to tweet it right now, tweet a link to the District 6 seal. Okay, I just tweeted it using our HD Fireside chat Twitter. I want everybody to click on that link and pull up this image of the District 6 seal and tell me what is on the top of that seal. Are those hovercrafts flying in the sky? Totally. Yeah. Totally. But they look really weird. They look almost like I can't really figure out how to view them. Like, are they? Are those wheels? Maybe like, they're like, like um, propellers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I was thinking the same thing. It honestly Ooh. Looks, it looks to me like those those flying machines that were straight out of Avatar. I don't know if you remember yes. that. They had, like, those uh, yeah. circular. Yeah. <laughs> that's, On the nose. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, maybe James Cameron had some influence on this, <laughs> whether he knew it or not. <laughs> it's definitely But not. I think that's, I didn't, like, when I first looked at the seal, all I saw was the train. But then I noticed those, what I'm assuming are hovercrafts in the sky, which is cool because we don't really know what a hovercraft looks like. I mean, they don't really exist yet. So this sort of gives us an idea of what, the film's interpretation of a hovercraft might look like. I think that's Which the best fun. feel, too. Yeah. It's really, did. really, it's really cool looking. Yeah, it's really awesome. It's different from all the other ones, too. Well, according to our hovercraft expert, and that being Sarah, Sarah Songbird 1, she says, I pictured it looking like the thing from Despicable Me. And she is oh. the expert on hovercrafts, as we're about to find out. Uh, I know you're a fan of that movie, Savannah, so. Oh, oh yes, I the, love uh, Despicable Me. The Minions? Yes. The minions. <laughs> I love the Minions. So, but let's, that's a good good transition point. Let's talk about these hovercrafts. And I tweeted the link uh, to everybody, but I want you all to go to, in fact, Let's pull it up again. If you didn't, if you didn't get it, you can go to our episode link, HG Fireside, um, um, and you'll find it uh, if you click on the amazing hovercraft manual that Sarah Songbird one put together. But uh, really, have to talk about this because I issued a challenge to her, and I said, if you could design a hovercraft manual, we'll put it on the show. And I never actually thought that this would happen. And here is a hovercraft manual, mm -hmm. really, really quite something. Um, have you all had a chance to look at this manual yet? No, wow. It's I nice. haven't either. I looked at it earlier, and it's very detailed. Um, there are basically four different <laughs> sections or chapters acquiring your license, proper care and keeping of your hovercraft, uniform and pilot etiquette, Extremities, and that contains information on security and, and if there if an emergency occurs. But she really did an incredible job, and I suggest that everyone take some time to read this entire manual because it's really really cool. Yeah, and just to give you a few few tips, things that I I noticed here uh, where she had a little bit of fun with this. You are not under any circumstances expected to exchange anything but simple hellos and goodbyes with your passengers. Even those are obligatory. And before each flight, you'll be expected to check the vitals of your hovercraft. This is the law. So you can see she really took on uh, the, a capital style annual. So you will be taken into custody for reckless endangerment, she says at one point. And even go so far as to say there should be at least two peacekeepers in the hovercraft with you at all times. One present with you in the cockpit and one in the passenger lock. So I'm saying this is a really, really intensely thought out uh, manual, which uh, I'm going to admit there haven't been any other competing hovercraft manuals, but I'm ready to declare this the official hovercraft manual of the I think that we should actually and, send and, this. To Trexler Hoverhound, um, yeah, assuming agree. he is a hovercraft pilot, I think that he, I think that he is. Um, 
Yeah, this is just amazing. I, I love seeing fan-created stuff like this. And this is really neat to me because it's sort of like fan fiction, but it's more like fan nonfiction kind of. I, I love it when, when people create stuff like this. I saw on Tumblr some people had created um, – I don't know if they were edicts or laws, but, but a series of, of capital decrees, which I found fascinating to read. Um, so I, I really applaud Sarah Songbird's efforts here. She did an incredible job. Everyone should read this. 